Hey guys, just left my two week appointment follow up. Um, so far, same, no, not the same rooms, rules. I can drive now, I can lift Ira, I can resume my daily life, just no. And I have to massage my scarring. I mean, I, I volunteered for that, so she, she's got that covered. Yeah, because he doesn't want me to lose feeling, right? Or no. he said it would over. I'm I don't not sure know. you have the feeling. I don't like touching the scar. Oh, he did find some more stitches. He said, as I heal, I'll probably see a little bit, get a little bit more stitching out because my scars are so dark. It's really hard to tell. Y'all don't ever ride with Chris. If you come to Louisville, <laughs> do not ride with Chris. Don't especially let him with, drive. Especially with some coffee in your hand. He yeah. cannot, he's spilling Vicky's coffee all over the car. But um, what else, Vicky? Am I missing anything? Look at Vicky got on her little. Oh, he was trying to. He was trying to sell her uh, uh, some uh, um, implants. Implants. Um, only because he feels like like they're just. Just show I don't them. have the profile. No, it's not showing. <laughs> just them. show them. No, I just don't have that profile, like that cleavage area, and I don't really care to right now. Right now, I'm happy with my results. I love them, Chris. What do you think? Well, when I get to use them, I'll tell you how happy I am with them. Right now, bye, it's still bye, bye. we're still in the uh, transitional phases. But yes. from what I see, it's looking damn good. Yeah, I really like them. Right now, I'm so happy with them. I don't. I personally don't feel like I'm gonna want an implant, but we'll see. Both of them are adorable. Both your new kids. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and then I'm wearing a new foundation today. Um, it's in it's a NARS Luminous Foundation. I'm gonna see how it holds up. Everybody brags about this foundation. I'm in the shade Igacal, but when I first put it on, it literally looked like blackface. I had to go ham on my concealer to balance this out. So we'll see. I think this will be my perfect summer shade, but for right now, it's a little too dark. Too dark. Couldn't even see my contour. But um, yeah, that's random. But yeah, that's it right now. And I'm happy. They only hurt when the little these little things bounce. I'm not used to bouncing boobs, <laughs> so it hurts when they bounce. But oh yeah, and I still can't wear a bra. But yeah, other than that, yeah. Not that they need a bra. It just keeps from <laughs> from bouncing so much. Bro, uh, that was the bro. Chicago, <laughs> we from Florida. That, was the, Get that out. was the Chicago style uh, pothole. pothole. Yeah, that pothole was ridiculous, and Chris driving is even worse. So he doesn't even try to. Uh, That's what you got shocks for. Ew! How they hurt? Is it because it's jiggling? Yes, they get so annoyed when they jiggle. And oh, and so I'm off antibiotics. I'm only taking bromoceptin and now he says that I can take them just once a day, which is so much better because it caused me to still be lightheaded and dizzy. It makes me Thank you. <laughs> <Ew. laughs> <You're okay. laughs> hey guys. Oh, this lighting is horrible, but okay. So a quick update. I just left my doctor's appointment. This is the first appointment Chris wasn't able to make it to. He had a few meetings. But um, this was just my last follow-up, and then I'll go back in four months just to see how my scarring and everything is healing. He did remove two more stitches. I hope it's not bleeding because it felt so irritated when he snatched them out. Um, he didn't snatch them out, but he took them out. And this is what we have. No implants, no nothing. I just want to show you guys that I'm out here braless. And I'm, I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with them. Um another thing so i do want to tell you guys a lot of people have asked me about my healing process it's been a long 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 journey i still feel random stabbing and burning or tingling or tightness um especially if i reach over too far i can feel the tightness from my scarring it feels like it's ripping but he said that's all normal that the scarring will relax within um six months and I want to address a few things of like why I haven't been uploading and everything that I've just been going through mentally. Um, my channel is like my escape. 
so like where I can like 100% be me or do what I want when I want how I want um I don't work for YouTube YouTube works for me so when I can get around to doing it and making a video that's when I enjoy it most when I feel like I have to have to do it and it's laying on me it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel fun and I think it's been like three weeks three or four weeks I don't know but I apologize for not uploading we're going through a lot um, it's just been like non-stop I'm not one to cry or vent online I just kind of like deal with all my problems and our issues like privately truth of the matter is I can't be happy or fake happiness if I'm not truly happy I can't give advice or help you guys out if I'm not good within my energy isn't 100% so that's what I'm working on getting my energy at 100% and I'm in the middle of doing a few things um, one huge update that I have not talked about or mentioned is that we are moving um, and I think that it was the second week out of my surgery we signed a lease we're selling our home um, we signed a year lease for like a place that's a lot closer to the kids school and it's until we figure out what we want to do because we're just not happy we're not happy in Kentucky although this is where all of our money is um, this is where all our businesses are we're just not happy here life is short like too too short so we would rather be happy I will show you guys our new place if you want to see it of course um, in my third week we started packing up and moving so that has been stressful in itself <clears throat> I'm not one that likes to move a lot or pack um, and then it makes me realize how much stuff I really have like you know we have so, so much furniture first of all we have so much furniture that we're able to still stay in our house and stay in our apartment way too much and then um we have not spent one night at the new apartment yet, but we're planning on it. We haven't even listed the house for sale yet. So yeah, but we are trying to figure out what we're going to do as far as, I don't know, maybe we might always keep an apartment here in Kentucky so we can always come back and check on businesses. But as far as living here, mentally, emotionally, raising our family here we're not here for it you don't really want to and I've never ever been here for it when we're here in Kentucky it's like we're non-stop we're always always working we never really have a breather and everybody needs a breather ultimately our hearts are in California that's really really where we want to live but realistically running businesses from California just doesn't work it's that we have we have to be here so that part is devastating but yeah our hearts are really in California that's where we love being um and we just can't right now and we've been searching for homes and also Nashville because Chris really likes Nashville I can't say that I like or dislike it because I um don't haven't been there long enough or like experienced it so we're thinking about even getting a place out in Nashville just to test it out and see how we like it in California it took us a year to find my dream home what I thought was our our dream home it took us a full year to find that place and I'm very picky and I believe in patience taking your time and not rushing into it and um, I just want to think everything out and yeah I'm sorry if this video is all over the place I just needed to come to you guys and give you all an explanation of what's been going on oh that's another thing we put Ira in school part-time so Ira's in school Monday Wednesday Fridays and then he's at home Thursdays and Tuesdays and Thursdays um, he's been adjusting really well um, potty training has started uh, we just got back from California for spring break 
I was gonna vlog in California, but honestly, I was just so happy we was enjoying our family time that I literally hardly ever picked up the camera. That was a fail. Um, oh, I did the big chop. I chopped off a lot of my hair. It's a freezing mess right now, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but I chopped off my hair. Well, I wouldn't call it the big chop, but I cut my hair, getting my hair cut. I'm gonna insert some photos. And yeah, I'm just rocking this curly do that's a frizzy mess because I'm, oh, can y'all see it now? Ooh, ooh, Bruno ain't got nothing on me. Okay, so just been, I don't know, just wanted something new, different, change the shape of my nails. Like everything is just, just craving change. I have not talked about this at all. And it's been really hard to talk about. I noticed that when I was going through it, well, it's easier to talk about now than it was back then. But the me losing my cousin, um, as you all may or may not know, I lost my cousin Malachi um, January 25th of this year. And it's been hard and I still realize now that I'm still grieving. Like it's been really, really hard because for the last seven months, he basically lived with us. He worked with us. I saw him every day. I talked to him every day, nonstop. So to go from seeing someone every day to not seeing them at all, like, and it's almost like just a part of me was snatched away. I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, but yeah, I'm still grieving the, my cousin. And that's been hard. And both Chris and I have been going through it with that. But I, I'm, it's easier to talk about now. Like, I can actually talk about it now. At first, I just... I was just like, I'm not okay. I'm I'm one that can admit when I'm not okay. And I wasn't okay. But um, I'm, I'm at a better place now emotionally where I, I'm trying to learn to accept it. Everything that's going on, the whole Nipsey Hustle thing, like it's just brought me to the fact that I am still heavily grieving. And that's okay. And I don't know when I'll be able to completely accept the fact that things happened the way that they happened, but, um, or when I'll be able to not question it anymore because I know I just can't wrap myself around why the good people and the young people have to go so soon. And it's, I don't know. I've just, yeah, that part has been, it's been tough. Yeah, that's, I really want to get back to, I have so much content, not content, but like so many video ideas, not the pranks and stuff. You guys know we're not into that. I want to vlog more. I want to share the kids more, but I've just been feeling like I need to live in that moment and enjoy my kids privately and my family privately because tomorrow isn't promised. And that's one of the reasons why we have not been vlogging a lot, especially with our kids. I don't know. I wish Chris was here too to talk to you guys. But yeah, I want my channel. This video is literally all over the place. But I want my channel to be an escape of happiness. I know everything is not always happy. Go lucky. But I don't ever want my channel to be about crying, sadness, exposing people, drama, I just can't. It's enough of that in the world, and I just don't want to be that person to give more of that into the world, put more of that into the world. So, yeah, I'm just going to focus on the good, the positive, and let you guys know that everybody has down moments. Everybody has low moments. It's so normal. Not everybody has their shit together. Um, and we're just trying to get our shit together, okay? And I want you guys to be 
I don't know, to come along for the ride and enjoy and learn, hopefully. And yeah. And again, tomorrow isn't promised. So you want to live in that moment. Live live in the moment and enjoy it as much as possible. Yeah, that's about it. I can't think of anything else. And I'm excited for the rest of this year and next year. A great year. And I'm claiming it and speaking it into existence. So, yeah. Oh, I know what else I needed to mention. I know that I said every 25K I'm doing a giveaway. 56,000 subscribers. And what's so crazy is I feel like I don't even produce a bunch of content. I've realized that I am 6,000 followers or 6,000 subscribers late on this giveaway. But the fact that we've reached 56,000 subscribers, it's just like, blows my mind every single time, every single time. And I'm so looking forward to 100K and I'm hoping we get to 100K by the end of the year. So we're about to do a random giveaway, okay? Uh, for this giveaway, email address and favorite video listed down below in I may be emailing you with the surprise. Like I wrote all my goals down for like January 1st, 2019. I wrote all my goals down. And slowly but surely, believe it or not, I've been checking off a lot of my goals. And I cannot be more proud of myself. But yeah, I'm so excited for the rest of this year. I'm excited to announce some things and I, I just can't wait. And I want to give back more. So, um, yeah. I might pick two winners. I'm probably going to pick two winners. So, yeah. Send me your email address and what's your favorite video. Yeah, let's talk. And I'll see you guys later. This video is so long. But I'll see you guys later. And um, I love you guys so much. You guys are everything. And, um... Thank you for taking this journey with me and for being patient, most importantly. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, I am one of the most inconsistent people on YouTube because I wouldn't consider myself a YouTuber again. I don't work for YouTube. YouTube works for me. So I am one of the most inconsistent people. I appreciate you guys for understanding that. And these people are walking past looking at me like I'm crazy. But... <laughs> I love you guys. I have to get out of here. Um, I'll see you guys in our next video. A cheers to positivity. More content. Um, I'm going to do more CNN talk videos. Chris and I will. We have so many emails. Um, so more of those are coming. Love you guys. And good luck in the giveaway. This giveaway will only be a U.S. giveaway because... I'll do my big international giveaway once we reach 100K. And that'll probably be more than one winner as well. Thank you guys so much. And I love you. I love you. I love you. I know this video is all over the place, but I hope y'all understand. Okay? I'm not going to say bye, but I hate saying bye, but I'll see you guys later. Okay?